There are two methods for upgrading an existing installation of Cerberus FTP server. You can use the built-in auto updater, or you can download the latest installer and run it manually to upgrade your installation. We will cover both methods in this video. When upgrading using either method, the installer will stop the Cerberus FTP server service, uninstall the existing Cerberus FTP server installation, and then install the latest release. The reinstallation only affects the actual application. Server configuration and user settings are never removed. An upgrade usually takes about 5 minutes and almost never requires a server reboot. Please note that the Cerberus FTP server service will be unavailable during the upgrade, so it is advisable to do the update when you have no or few users connected to the server. We always recommend making a backup of your users and settings from the Cerberus tool menu before upgrading. To take a backup, select the Backup Users Settings option to create a zip file of all of your Cerberus settings and users. Using the Auto Updater, the Cerberus FTP Server Automatic Updater will check for a new release of the Cerberus FTP Server and if an update is found, allow you to download and run the updater to upgrade your installation. To check for an update and optionally install it, select the Help menu option from the main menu. Select the Check for Update menu option. You will see the Upgrade Check dialog. It will list the current version installed and any updates that are available. If no updates are available, the current version and latest version will be the same and the update button will be disabled. If this is the case, you have the latest release and can press the close button to end the update process. If a new release is available, the update button will be enabled and a list of changes since your current version was released will be listed in the release notes list box. Press the update button to automatically download the latest release and begin the update process. You should select the default options for any questions in the installer. The installer will automatically remove your existing installation and then install the latest release. As a reminder, your existing users and settings will not be removed. Finish the installation and you are done. The latest version of Cerberus FTP server should be installed and running. You can also manually download the latest installer and use it to upgrade your installation if you cannot or choose not to use the auto updater. The installer will upgrade an existing installation to the latest release. To download and run the latest installer, go to the Cerberus download page. Download the latest installer from the link at the top or if necessary, the link for previous releases. Shut down the Cerberus FTP Server UI by going to the File menu and selecting the Exit menu option. Now open services.msc. The installer will normally be able to shut down the service, but on rare occasions the automatic shutdown will not work. Shutting down the Cerberus Windows service before installation ensures a restart will not be necessary after the installation completes. Now we can launch the installer. You should select the default options for any questions in the installer. The installer will automatically remove your existing installation and install the latest release. As a reminder, all of your existing users and settings will not be removed. Finish the installation and you are done. The latest version of Cerberus FTP server should now be installed and running.